Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening. It is a professional MMA contest contested at 59 kilograms and will be three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This athlete has a professional MMA record of 0-1. She represents Team Renegade. Ladies and gentlemen, Lexi Rook! And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She has a professional record of 101 and represents the Northwest Fight Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Megan Morris! Our referee, Mr. Paul Crossley. Professional bout here tonight. Blue corner, Lexi Rook. In the blue outfit, red corner, Megan Morris. Oh, matchy matchy and ready to go. 59 kilo catch weight. And wasting no time, both of these two, two uh, pair taking the center. Popping with the jabs. Yeah, the stand up looking sharp for this one. Hands nice and tight, working behind a good jab. I was going to say the professional records for these two ladies, one and one for Morris, oh and one for Rook, but that doesn't take into account the absolutely fantastic amateur careers that both these young ladies have had. Yeah, and uh, it's not like in the uh, the female ranks, you've got a lot of opponents to build up against because there's so few, you're fighting all the killers straight away and uh, both these two have had tough fights already. Yeah, absolutely, both representing phenomenal gyms as well, the Northwest Fight Academy for Megan Morris and of course, Team Renegade, home of UFC welterweight champion Leon Edwards for Lexi Rook. She's only been there for five weeks. She said it was the most intense five-week training camp she's ever had. Yeah, elite level training partners to uh, to work with. Oh, Megan for, for going for the takedown first, but Lexi's going to get on top of the back of it. Inside nice. wrist control. Nice scramble, bit of good roll by. Oh, and good work from Rook to pull Morris into the guard, and we saw our first elbow. Absolutely, straight away, not messing around off the back, trying to dig those elbows in. Now Morris just uh, slowing things down, trying to consolidate this top position. Another shot, little elbow from Rook on bottom, but Morris looking to consolidate this position now. Good shots coming up. Someone, uh, I think it's, is it Morris cut badly? It's hard to tell. There's a lot of blood there that's come from something. It might have been from the elbow, Steve. Is it, is it Megan's nose? Could They're be. just facing the wrong way for us. Referee's just looking for a moment to put a part to... A little bit of a stalemate, a pause in the action so that yeah, Rook can have her mouthpiece back. Megan Morris's nose, that's doing all that bleeding that we can see from this side. I'm not sure exactly what strike did it, but yeah, it's turned on the tap, but she's not phased her, she's still doing the work. Yeah, it's still trying nice to take that. Oh, but again, Rook uses her agility to stay on top. And now, sprawls out. And of course, that's gonna make, it's gonna make breathing tough for Morris, although she still looks game. She looks like she's enjoying it. Yeah, it's not an experience like oh. not dealt with, you know, working through nosebleeds and things like that. It's not uh, putting her off a game at all, not by the looks of things. That's still in again on that single. Rook, wide base, trying to avoid being dragged down to the canvas. And we've had a little bit of everything so far in this first round. Yeah, Morris, you know, she's hit some nice takedowns, but with uh, a little bit too much momentum, not able to get the control on the floor, and Lexi Rook has uh, ended up on top a couple of times, so she's got to be a little bit wary about that. But she'll be pleased at her ability to get her to the map, but obviously uh, needs to get some control there. Takes a lot of a big exertion of energy to, uh, to hit a lot of those takedowns and for, to end up on the bottom and having to scramble off the back of it. Yeah, well, she, it's uh, got to be a little bit frustrating. She, she hasn't stopped pressuring. And Rook back to the cage. Yeah, she's trying to get the head position there, Rook, to get some space between the bodies so she can move out, but Megan is sticking to a light glue, oh, really so pressing. Landed a nice knee to the midsection there, did Lexi Rook. Good, good head pressure there, nice uh, head alignment with the underhook from Megan Morris. Lexi's staying busy, throwing the knees to the body. There is a risk to that of getting your knee caught, but she looks to have a really strong base, really good balance. 
And she hasn't. She hasn't really been threatened in the last few minutes with a takedown. It's just pressure from Morris. Yeah, and he's showing oh, those shot. knees he's are taking some toll. Yeah. Oh. Nice straight right on the break from Rook. Morris really wearing the, the fight so far. Yeah, I think the bloody knows when it bleeds bad, it makes it look worse than it yeah. is. You know, she's like, looks like she's been caught eating strawberries. <laughs> in on the single in the middle of the cage. Rook still doing well to maintain that balance. She sprawled out a little bit. And now Morris forcing Rook back up against the cage wall again. Yeah, Morris is relentless. When she gets on that leg, she's still tenacious, but she's not giving it up. Ten seconds left. And again, for a five-minute round, it certainly has flown by. Yeah, some, uh, some good work on the fence from Rook, landing the knees, even though she's been pressured to the fence, she's not stopped working, popping the knees in. Uh, but Morris has had all the pressure, all the forward pressure. Ah, as pressure she, doesn't I, I, win yeah, fights anymore, say, does it? Has, has, has she done enough with that pressure? Has she been landing enough strikes to uh, to take the round? Rook's had her back against the fence. She has been landing those knees to the body. And you the know, problem how, is... How forceful are those knees to the body at that point? Problem is, though, because cosmetically as well, it certainly looks like one fighter has come off worse. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, that's why, I mean, you can't look at, uh, like surface level things like uh, bus nose and cuts everybody that happens to lots of people differently there's a change of wind and my nose starts bleeding that's just one of those things but you know we've got good judges here who, uh, who know to look at the action and what's going on and that was a tight first round we've got potentially two more fives to go absolutely cage door closed mr paul crossley getting ready to start these two young athletes out and here we go quick touch of gloves it always amazes me. I'm going to touch gloves with you, and then I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> I think I'd be a I'll shake your hand after the fight type of guy. I like the jab and the slip head off the center line for Morris, but Lexi Rook's uh, straight right hands dead after yeah, down money the money at the moment. That was a nice counter right hand for Morris, though. She came in. Right now, neither... Neither of them put a, have started to put a stamp on the second round yet. Yeah, the, the extra few inches of reach seem to be um, having an advantage for... Uh, oh, for big knee. Nice knee. When Morris just misses with her straight shots, Rook still has the, the length, the range, to be able to tag her on the end of her straight right or the jab. Morris still pushing forward. Oh, so again, a nice right hand from Rook. Yeah, it's always locked and loaded, ready to go, and it's accurate. Nice low kick, a good counter from Morris. Ooh. Yeah, there looks to be a little wobble with that one, maybe. Oh, oh she right stopped and dropped her there. Oh, and Lexi not wanting to play down on the ground at all. That might be over. Uh, it could be. It's just a change in just, the demeanor there. Just needs to put a stamp on it now, this Rook. Yeah, she looks even more confident now. She saw that little uh, demeanor change in um, in Morris. But as I say, that she comes firing back, looking for yeah, the combinations. All three of those shots miss, and Rook not rushing in now, even though I'm sure she can smell the blood in the water. Yeah, she looks very composed. Megan biting down on her gum shield, though. Goes low Trying again. to throw back. No quit at all and more. I mean, I can say she's pushing forward harder than before. Yes. Again, that right hand finds a home for Rook. Yeah, she certainly made the reach advantage pay. Megan's been left, you know, finding out a lot of, yeah, you know, a lot of the shots that eye, that out of the way. Just underneath the left eye, big hematoma, cut starting to form. And, you know, I've seen, I've seen many of Lexi Rook's amateur fights, and I don't think I've ever seen her look this good. Yeah, certainly looking slick. 
Morrissey well, she's moving well. I, I, I think she looks like she's moving her feet, working behind her jab well. Again, she's certainly made improvements in that area as well. She's just uh, really struggling to get inside the reach of Lexi Rook, and when she does, that right hand's waiting for her a lot of the time. Yeah, Lexi, like a matador at the moment. It's a... Oh, yeah, good it's response nice for the Morris. Yeah, it's a nice head movement for her and good counters there. It's the shots that are, uh, that are landing just don't seem to have the same effect. Quite the same effect. No, and Lexi again, not rushing in, not rushing in behind her work, happy to fight at range and distance. Kick to the body there. And taps the inside of the thigh as well. I mean, she really is mixing her shots up well. Oh, nice overhand light landed there for Morris. Rook took it well. Yeah, nice. She's looking for the overhand again. The corner calling for it now. A little slip inside the jab and overhand over the top. Still light on her feet as Morris, still bouncing. The stage comes in, lands a good shot, but Rook just stands the ground and then she's happy to let the shot come in and then get that right hand going down again. It just, just seems to be a difference on the impact every time uh, Rook lands solid. I mean, Rook has a chin on her. Oh, yes she does. Morris landed a whipping overhand there. The rook still holds the center of the cage. Looking to pick her shots. I mean, all great to Megan Morris. Looked all but done when she went down off that right hand. But she's brought herself back into this fight and she's been busy. Yes, absolutely. 10 seconds left to go. Rook was looking to turn up the volume a little bit, but Megan Morris still in this, still here. Foot team are... Uh, Licking the lips at this one. Yeah, a lot Job of work to do. A lot of work to do there quickly. And what are you telling Megan Morris if you're in the corner now? If you're Steve Nightingale up there, what are you what, what are you whispering in her? What are you telling her you need her to do? Well, I think given that the fact that she decided to strike for the whole of the second round, despite getting dropped by that right hand, shows that maybe she wasn't feeling particularly comfortable with things on the fence, didn't feel like she could uh, get Rook down from there. I do like the head movement. I do like the overhand right. Maybe throwing some more kicks in there to mix things up. Has she got the power to, uh, to get the job done? I don't know, but I'd be saying commit to the shots, big punches, get the overhand right, and then maybe throw overhand and try a single out in the open, see if you can uh, mix things up a little bit that way. But she's that corner, she's ready to go again. Yeah, Alexi Rook just looked over to the camera, pointed to herself, this is for me, this is, this is mine. Cage door closes, five minutes left to separate them. Again, laser guided that right hand behind the jab for Rook. But Megan coming forward. I like the jab, the double jab, and the head slip to the outside. Well, she's doing some good work. It's just the reach and the accuracy of, uh, of Rook. She just seems to snap Megan's head back every time that one two comes through the middle. So Rook looks really solid at this weight as well. I know it's catch weight, but she's a, a powerfully built young woman. Morris busier at the start of round three, landing some shots, bringing that left hook in. Yeah, and maybe yeah. trying to intersperse some, pun uh, some kicks in with those punches. Her arms out as long as uh, rooks, but the legs will reach. Again, pushing forward as Morris. Shot to the body. Goes upstairs. But Lexi had a you know great deal of success with the knees. The elbows on the ground, and I'm wondering. Is she thinking about maybe putting Morris on her back to finish this? 
<laughs> don't look like it. No, he oh, doesn't. He's happy day. Both, both of them look fairly content to stand here in the middle. Lex looks comfortable, you know. Megan's landed some some hard shots and uh, Lex is taking them all. She's not looked phased by any of them, so I think she feels confident in her ability to take those shots yeah. and fire back. Well, we've seen already tonight the one shot can make a huge difference in a fight. But right now, I'm not sure if Morris is going to be able to find that one shot to put the stamp on this. Rook still light on her feet. Uh, some nice head movement in here from Morris. You know, she's, if it wasn't for head movement, she would have eaten a lot more shots. Some nice little slips, a couple of little lean backs. She just hasn't managed to, um, you know, in the counters, to really phase Rook with anything. Even when she's landed clean, she hasn't uh, looked like she's had the ability to uh, to move or wobble her. Oh, get her. I mean, everywhere she's landing on, on Morris, she's marking up. The leg, the thigh is marked up, the face is marked up. And Morris pushing forward. Oh. Yeah, you see it, just sometimes just a, the straight lands just inside the curved punch. And again. Morris looping the shots a little bit, especially when she throws that left hook. Rook just darts inside it. He's trying to get that little bit of extra power, isn't she? And Rook's timing is almost perfect. Still pushing. You know, we see all this. You know, Rook has landed good shots, but she's not landed anything like that right hand in the, at the start no. of the second round. Nothing that's shaken Megan Morris since. So credit to uh, Megan Morris's uh, durability as well. Oh, heart for days, no doubt, heart for days. But she really is gonna have to find something special to pull this one out of the bag. Yeah, they might as well be fighting in a phone booth. They, uh, they move around a little bit, but once they get into that, po that pocket, they're both happy to exchange. Morris oh. with a crimson mask still biting down, still working away forward. Rook still, but Rook staying composed. Oh. Not rushing anything, landing. Chopping away that lead leg now. Yeah, lovely counters with the low kick. Punctuating a lot of these combinations with the low kicks now. Morris in there swinging. No quit at all. 10 seconds left to go to separate these two young ladies. And ladies and gentlemen, 15 minute war from Lexi Rook and Megan Morris. And our three judges are left to separate the two of them.
ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these two young ladies. What a war! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard for a decision. All three judges have this fight in favor of the blue corner, Lexi Rook! Ladies and gentlemen, standing alongside your winner, Lexi Rook. And Lexi, I know this is no way to talk about another young lady, but she was as tough as old leather. Were you surprised at uh, how she stayed in there? Not at all, man. Like, I know Megan. <laughs> I know she's got fucking heart. Sorry, Sven. I know she's got heart. Like, I've seen her fight some tough girls internationally. They obviously did the IMAPS with her, so I know, I knew what she was going to bring tonight, and I knew that I had to bring, I had to bring the best version of myself to be to be her so you said you have to bring the best version of yourself watching cage side commentating i would say this is the best lexi rook we've ever seen does it feel that way yeah like i can't tell you how good it feels like this has been the hardest camp of my entire life like the hardest probably the hardest thing i've ever had to do no one quite knows the ins and outs um apart from my boyfriend and probably my intermediate family so it's just incredible to actually get a win and also shout out to my new team renegade like just they've been incredible for the past like six months i've been traveling there finally moved there four weeks ago and it's clearly fucking shows man i'm training the best gym in the world so yeah ladies and gentlemen please give it up for alexi rook Congratulations.